Welcome, welcome everyone to Real Jamaican News, where you get the real news, unedited. All right, and in the news today, what's popping is Shelly and Allen, boss lady. Boss lady, Shelly and Allen, lottery scammer, and also drug mule, arrested in the United States. All right, so this is her on your screen in better days when she was smiling and she has been a police constable in the jca for 18 years no who worked for 18 years without not one promotion in the jca there are so many opportunities for persons to get promoted and this woman has never been promoted for 18 years she has been a constable and the thing about it now we are wondering where her loyalty lies is it that she's really a police or is just a front for criminal activity because it is understood that her baby father was killed in westmoreland so it goes to show that there's criminal criminality in her life her son was also arrested for lottery scamming so this seems to be a family of criminals all right and she's also a drug mule it is alleged now that she rub up almost 250 million Jamaican dollars. That's how much she get from the scam allegedly. And she's still carrying up drugs in her system or on her body, which is a small amount compared to what she get from scamming. All right. So something is not right with the scamming network. Either she's just a middleman and then there she has to report to someone else because based on what i'm hearing she go around and she recruit people to collect the money in the u.s in the u.s of e and she get those persons to collect the money for her and send it to her so maybe she's not really getting all of this money for herself it is alleged now that um she bought a, a mark x cash no as a police officer she can't afford to pay for her mark x maybe sixty thousand dollars but she'd have to live lean sixty thousand dollars a month would be for car payment but she'd have to live lean now she go and buy it cash red flag number one all right she also buy a house in trelawney in one of those housing scheme and it is in her mother's name it is alleged all right so this woman is raking in money but all of the money is not hers. It is going to somewhere else. So the fact now that she's get caught in the US, it means that she will be calling names and more persons is going to go down. All right. A lot of persons are worried right now. They are fretting because she is going to be calling names. And because of her arrest, the JCF has suspended her. And this is not even her first suspension. She was kicked off the force before. She was kicked off the force before. And on appeal, she got back her job. So there's some kind of corruption in her life that she was kicked out of this force. 18 years in the force and when you were kicked out, they take you back and you didn't change your ways. Even though the FBI and US people have eyes on her, because she has been traveling. She traveled nine times from 2019 to now. Nine times. And the last time she traveled in September, they stopped her. Search her phone. She had two phones. She hide one. They search her Samsung phone. Ask her if she had another one. She take out the iPhone and show it to them. Right? And the iPhone was a scamming phone. Because the number on the iPhone match the number that the witness that was cooperating with the fbi in the u.s gave her so they realized though that she is the mastermind they even named the scamming network after her allen scamming network it is called all right after boss lady shelly and allen so she has been suspended by suspended by the jcf not her first suspension all right so right now the next news we are going to get is that she has been terminated they will they are going to terminate her they are going to fire her based on what is happening 
she will be locked up for a long time on the drug charge. She might get a, a reduced sentence on the scamming charge if she give up the key players. And I believe there are some high-end players in this game. High-end players. So I've always wondered why persons are still scamming. How they get the money in. And these people, guess how this woman has been getting her money? Through barrels. The last person who sent her money, the person overseas, one of the informant, collect $30,000 on her behalf. The money was sent to the person, male, female, we don't know. The affidavit say he or she. So they're not telling if it's a man or a woman. So the affidavit say he, she. So I'm going to say he, she got the money in a crock pot or a slow cooker, what we call it, or a rice cooker, one of those cooker. $30,000 and the person took $9,000 for themselves and sent the other $21,000 to Shellyan in a barrel, in a food barrel that has ensure and soap and all those things that our family overseas would send for us. So they put the money in those, they probably put it in some flower bag, empty out the flour and put the money in the flower bag or something like that. I don't know how they do it, but the money was shipped in a barrel. And that is how they do it. So they are no longer using Western Union. They are no longer using MoneyGram. They are very, very creative ways of sending the money that they scam to Jamaica. This woman scammed two hundred and fifty million dollars and end up turn a drug mule. This woman could have retired, but easy come, easy go. The thing with this easy money is that you spend it. Because when they were looking at her spending, she opened a U.S. account in Florida. She opened a U.S. account and $10,000 was placed in the account. And when they look at how she spent it, she went to Gap, she went to Old Navy, she went to all of these retail outlets and buy all these name brand clothes. I look at her, you know, even on the picture, if you look at how she dressed, as simple as that blouse is, it is a very expensive blouse. It looks simple. But it is very expensive. I also look at her accessories. They are simple, but they are very expensive. So I do, I didn't see her as somebody who flaunt the money. But she buy expensive, simple things and hide it. So she live in a nice house, drive a nice car, and she's not too flashy. She drives, she, she wears simple things, you know. So she hide the money that way. She's not very flamboyant. And if you see her, you would even believe that she's a scammer. But she is. And it's not all scammer waste their money. Some of them put their money to good use. And now, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. Look at this next picture. This, this here is a picture of Kevin Smith, police woman, the one that was in the church with Kevin Smith. And this one here is Shellyan. Alin, comment below if there, there's a resemblance. All right. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more up-to-date information. Bless, peace out. Keep on blooming.